Hi there, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about emotions and exactly what they are, where they come from, and of course, I got some questions that'll better help you understand what your emotions are trying to tell you. Hi there, and welcome to the Bookstores Club, where we find daily inspiration from the books you love. In today's featured book is The Voice of Knowledge by Don Miguel Ruiz and Janet Mills. And today's inspirational thought comes to us on page number 104 and 105, it says, How can we know what the truth is when almost everything we have learned is a lie? How can we recognize what is real in us? Well, it took some time for me to find out, but I found out. Our emotions are real. Every emotion that we feel is real. It is truth. It is. I discovered that every emotion comes directly from our spirit, from our integrity. It is completely authentic. You cannot fake what you feel. You can try to repress your emotions. You can try to justify what you feel or lie about what you feel. But what you feel is authentic. It is real. And you are feeling it. There is nothing wrong with whatever you feel. There are no good emotions or bad emotions. There is nothing wrong with anger or jealousy or envy. Even if you are feeling hate, it comes from your integrity. Even if it's sadness or depression that you're suffering, if you feel it, there is always a reason for feeling it. Our emotions are an indicator of our truth and our reality. Even if we logically know that we shouldn't be feeling those things, like if you say something like, oh, I, I know it's silly for missing you because I'm gonna see you in a couple hours, but I still do. Or if you say something like, I know it's wrong to feel jealous of his success, but I still do. Those are indicators of your reality. Here's an example of how closely tied your perceived reality is to your emotional response. Let's say you get home and you notice that all the lights are turned off and the front door is slightly open and maybe you know someone is supposed to be home, like your spouse or a friend, and you call to that person's name and nobody responds. You're probably going to start to feel a little bit afraid or fearful. And let's say a few seconds later, you kind of open the door a little bit more and all the lights turn on, everyone jumps out and yells, surprise! Well, now you're probably feeling excitement or even shock. These emotions shift just as quickly as your perceived reality does. There is a lot of different theories on emotion and how we generate emotion. One of them that is a little bit different because of the placement and the order that they put things in is called the James Lang theory of emotion. And it's a little bit different because first there's an outside stimulus, then a physiological response to that stimulus. And then the emotion happens depending on how you interpret that stimulus. And so you don't really actually go picking and choosing your emotions. However, you are responding to your reality or to the way that you interpret that stimulus. And so if that is the case, kind of like with the scenario that I was talking about earlier with kind of being afraid that you might be burglarized and then quickly realizing that it's actually a surprise party, you are, like Don Miguel Ruiz said, actually seeing that that emotion is your reality. That is just pointing to your reality. But that reality might not be true. And so I have a couple of questions that you can ask yourself to really getting down to the bottom of where your growth is because you can ask those questions depending on your perceived reality, especially if it's not what is actually going on in the ultimate reality. One of the first things that you can ask yourself is why do I feel this way? Asking yourself that question and being curious about, you know, why is it that this is the feeling that I'm feeling can have you look at the way that you're interpreting that particular situation. Another question is, why does this bother me so much? Especially if it's not bothering other people, but it's just bothering you, this can really point to something that has happened in your past that it's triggering and it is showing you why you interpret one thing to be a certain way, especially when others aren't. Our emotions are an indicator of our reality and that might not always be the real reality. However, it's still how you feel and so it's still your truth. Trying to suppress something like that just because you know you shouldn't feel that way doesn't work. So it's better to just recognize that your reality might not be the reality of others and the ultimate reality. And just 
recognizing that your interpretation of things might be what's getting you into trouble with your emotions. Um, if these questions helped you or if this was enlightening to you in any way, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. If you had a different take on this part of the book, a different part in this book or a different book entirely that you think should be featured here on the Bookstores Club, I would love to hear about that as well in the comments. Thank you for clicking the like button if you like this video and found it valuable and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you're new because I post new videos just like this every single day. See you tomorrow, Booksters. Hi there, hope you're having a great day. Yes, honey. For reality things. I mean, yeah, but no, as quickly as you're real. Those emotions shift. So, go from surprise to excitement to shock. Those emotions shift just as quickly as your reality shifts. Okay. No, or your reality. <laughs> oh my gosh. You almost had it. You listen, you have a phys physio physiological. Honey, physiological. I can say the word. So when I try to do this, I better be able to say physiological, physiological, physio physiological, 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 there, um, which, okay, what, what, it is, um, different, how did I say that, it's, we are just simply merely, we are just simply merely, uh, I wish I could just say that, because that says it so well, did I say it correctly? Am I moving on? I forgot. I don't think I did. I think I have to reset it, right? I don't remember. Asking why do I feel this way? Did I say it right? Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I did. I think I did. Do I have to say it all over again? Eh. Waiting for how you respond.